Right, come on, let's be honest. Ramen is that comfort food that we all love, especially on a cold day, and if you're studying at university. But today, trust me, I'm gonna show you how to elevate that notoriously cheap dish into something delicious, and guess what? Give me a V. That's right, vegetarian. Right. Come in, Oscar, let me show you the ingredients. Uh, egg noodles, uh, delicious, uh, rehydrated, literally in like three, three and a half minutes. Uh, beautiful seaweed, scallions, tofu, ginger, and cauliflower. And these here, these are the secret ingredient. These are the dried shiitake mushrooms. They're gonna go into the water and they're gonna rehydrate. Now, traditionally, you can start this with a chicken stock, a vegetable stock, or just plain water. Today, we're gonna start with plain water. I'm gonna show you how to elevate this ramen. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. So, we can start off with boiling water. First of all, season that water, okay, nicely. Now, in the next pan, I've got a rolling water. We're gonna put our eggs in there. Get them on a spoon and drop them into that water, okay? Please, time me six minutes. Justin, bring it out to the boil. Don't boil them ferociously. They'll get that sort of black line around the outside. Boil them gently, and I wanna boil that with a little bit of sort of a yolky bit in the middle. Mushrooms, into the water immediately, okay? In. And this is where it starts to sort of go up a level. Turn the gas up, okay? And now we're gonna start creating that base. First off, a tablespoon of miso paste in, okay? And give that a really good mix. Now those mushrooms are doubling in size, okay? And the exciting thing now is that they're starting to give flavor to that water. From there, a nice tablespoon of soy. Okay, that's gonna give some sort of richness to the broth. Okay, a little bit of acidity, a touch of mirin. Okay, that gives it a little bit of lift and a bit of a bite. And then, one of my favorites, togarashi spice, a beautiful Japanese pepper in. Now, bring that up to the boil. Lightly season it with the chili flakes. Get your egg noodles in, okay? And then from there, turn off the gas, okay? That's right, turn off the gas. Now, give that a good mix. Taste that broth. Mm, that's delicious, touch more salt, okay, for me. And then a little bit of salt, and look, the seaweed. Scissors, and just cut up some really nice strands of seaweed. And that's why I have to be very careful with the salt at the beginning. I like nice, long, sort of, almost strips, like julienne. Okay, and every minute, this broth is getting better, tastier, and deeper. If I was going strict vegetarian, of course, I'll be using a vegetable stock. A chicken stock is delicious. A beef stock equally is delicious. But now, open up those egg noodles, okay? And then just taste again. Good. Now it's nearly there. Tofu. Don't slice this too thinly, okay? Just literally into nice, long, beautiful strands. Lift it up and just place that on top. The secret now is that we're not gonna be boiling that stock, but all those ingredients, from the mirin to the miso, are almost starting to sort of marinate. Oscar, please, pan down, have a quick look. Now you can see, look, it's almost like this smorgasbord of delicious ingredients, and man, that's good. That is so good. Take that off and let it sit there and simmer. I want to say simmer, I mean put the lid back on. Take your sesame oil and just gently hit the surface with that. But make sure the gas is off. I want a touch more spice in there for me. Just a touch. Let it simmer. The gas is off, okay? Eggs are boiling. Time, please. Three minutes down. Three minutes down. Right, three minutes down. Cauliflower. Open your palm, flat side down, and then grate. Now, this gives it a bit of texture to the ramen. It's a great way of adding crunch to the top, especially with those eggs. And then from there, look, I'm almost sort of getting all the way down to the actual core. These bits here, just cut round there, okay? And just slice those bits nice and thin. And these stalks are so delicious. Okay, like the stalks on a broccoli. Open up that beautiful ramen and put those stalks in there. Again, another layer of flavor. Now, 
from there, take your cauliflower, put that into the bowl, okay? Lightly season it, salt and pepper, and then lightly dust that with some rice flour. Now, that's gonna give a little bit of crunch and texture to the cauliflower. So when we fry it, it's almost gonna be like this beautiful, crispy fried cauliflower. I want some chili in there, so I've got some heat, okay? And then look, a touch more rice flour. That helps to give it a coating. And it's almost like a sort of a nice little shallow fly. Hot pan, get the oil in, and then watch. I want to sort of get that really nice crispy texture that sits on top of those noodles. It's a shallow fry, okay? In there. Five minutes down. Halfway, five minutes down. Now, get that all up to temp. Touch more salt in there. Whilst that oil is waiting, no, it's gonna be there. Check it first, and then look. Just literally sprinkle that in there, and look what's happening to my cauliflower. It's getting really nice and crispy. Now, again, I love frying in a non-stick pan because I get that texture, and I really get it nice and crispy. I'm not using that much oil, okay? It's a light, shallow fry, but look. Look at the color of that cauliflower. Beautiful. Now it's going golden brown. And that's the texture that I want on top of this delicious ramen. It's amazing, just a simple vegetable like cauliflower can enhance a beautiful ramen. From there, take a little slice of kitchen towel, get that ready, and then look, as that gets really nice and crispy. I put a bit of chili in there as well. That rice flour starts to coat the cauliflower. It almost protects it and gives it this sort of jacket that allows it to get nice and crispy. Time, please. Three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Right, seven minutes in, and look, drain that off. And you can see that beautiful, crispy, incredible cauliflower there. That is so good, so good. Mm. Another season, beautiful. Now. How do we build up those layers? Okay, I've got some wonderful spring onions. And I like to slice them a little bit thicker and longer on the bias. So I go sideways this time. Okay, I'm saving the nice sort of tops for the garnish. And the sort of white parts, again, I'm just gonna sprinkle in over that. Oh man, that is just like a beautiful fragrant smell. So tops go on top. I've got my ginger. Sit alongside, I've got my seaweed inside, and the tofu now is sort of taking on that stock. One more final taste. And look at it in there. Oscar, come in, come in, pan down, pan down, pan down, please. Mm. That is so delicious, oh man. Now, eggs, take them out. Always like to sort of put them into cold water first before I start peeling them. And look, little trick, just get the base, Crack it and sit it in water. Crack it, blow, and sit it in water, and I'll show you why in a minute. Right, time to serve. Get your bowl. This is a very generous sort of family-style dish. Okay, big, deep, beautiful dish. Now, look at that. Noodles in first. The flavor from that stock in that short period of time is extraordinary. 90 seconds. Man, we're up against it. Look. Tip that out. The smell is incredible. Beautiful. From there, my sort of pickled ginger, my scallions, spring onions, and then look, this beautiful, nice, crispy cauliflower on top. Amazing cauliflower. Now with the eggs. Time, please. 50 seconds. 50 seconds, so tap, tap, tap. Pull, 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 and then just put it in the top of your hand and blow. And that from there literally should come off super quick, and it is. And then literally dip it back in the water, any excess shell, and it should be slightly, should be slightly runny in the middle. Oh, man. Runny, yolky, and then look, just from there, just literally snip, 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 snip. Some fresh cilantro, coriander, doesn't matter what country you're in, it's all delicious. 
And there we are, a beautiful ramen in 10. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're going to come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.